Life alert, I almost fell. <laughs> Everybody, it's Miss Cracker. She's a woman, and it's time for a tutorial with a Jew. That's called a Jewtorial. You've got questions. I've got answers. It's about drag life and drag life. Keep that hair out of your mouth. Today we're getting right back to where we were when I left you last week on a cliffhanger. Here we have this beautiful wig now completely destroyed by the teasing process. Yes, just like a child, a wig can be destroyed by teasing or made stronger. Oh, excuse me. How am I supposed to educate you if I don't have my glasses? And we're off. So looking at this wig, I see a whole bunch of problems right away. First of all, she's a little bit flat in the front. Also, there's all kinds of flyaways, and there's not a lot of shape on the sides. If I were to see this wig in the store, I'd say, mmm, I'll pass. This is what I want to do today. I want to define a few things. I want to bring this out. I want to bring this up. Basically everything you would do in Facetune, but in real life. This is how we gonna get her done. I'm gonna take this part of the wig that's a little flat, lift her up, straighten her, and give just a little bit more zhuzh. What we're going for here is a kind of Jessica Rabbit seductress. A little bit of volume, but not so much that we can't do a few tricks on a stage or in the bathroom. Teasing, adding volume. There, it's a little bit better. Go into the side and add a little more floof on this. I said more floof! Just a little more fluff. Floof? And then I bleed out of my left nostril. All right. All right, now I'm gonna pull the hair up and just sort of with it a little bit. Yes, I'm like, hey girl, who's your dad? You don't know. You're a bastard. You live on the wrong side of the weave tracks. So now we have hair with enough floof, but just kind of the wrong look. What's wrong? She's rough. It's time to smooth and sculpt. I'm gonna use this brush to get us on the right track. This is my little rat tail comb. I'm gonna sort of smooth out the whole wig and see what we're looking at. Let's turn it around. See all these textures? Let's get rid of them. Gently, 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 passing the comb over the hair, almost not even touching it. Just to see what it looks like when the very surface of the wig is all running in one direction. Speaking of running towards one direction, Kevin Spacey and I. <laughs> uh, too late for that one. Not because it's inappropriate, but because one direction is too old for him. All right. At this point in the smoothing and sculpting game, we are talking nicely to the hair. No more teasing. It's all backhanded compliments. Like, oh, you look so healthy. Or, I don't care what people say, you look fabulous. She's now fluffy, but the surface is smooth. A good wig is just like a 30-something. She's still a mess inside, just like a 20-year-old, but she's learned to hide it. To Charlie hide it. If you're noticing that your wig is flat in an area, that's what this is for. Slip it in and lift it up. Shablam. Isn't it nice? This is really one of my favorite life lessons. It doesn't matter how up something can be. There's still hope that with just a few strokes, you can put everything back in place. That brings us to this week's Jew and Don't. Jew gently touch the surface of the wig with the comb so that the very surface is organized. That's very nice. Gentle is the word for this step. Do not go in there with a brush and take out all the teasing you worked so hard to create. As I told you, the teasing is what gives your wig character. Do not rob yourself of a nice fluffy wig by getting too self-conscious about the mess beneath it. I'm gonna do myself a favor here. Lift the wig off of the base. Now I've run into a couple of snags at the bottom. It's okay to use a paddle brush to work those out. This brush is gonna be a little more gentle than the comb will be. 
Look at her. She's a woman. This is where you begin to see the beauty come out of the beast. Chill is all this time. I don't know why Carol Channing isn't Beauty in the Beast, but Cher Channing, like, Cher is all this time, whoa! Ugh, God, all right. Pump it up is, as I said, airborne cement. You're checking for a nice, fine mist. Okay, I'm gonna start with the hidden area of the hair. For this part, you want the hair to go out and down. One, two, no moss. And then now high and dry. Blow dry the hair until it's dry, about five or six seconds. You're spraying towards the root of the hair. Shabbat shablam. No! Don't do any of what I just did. See how this airborne cement is beginning to take? Now, let's organize a little bit. I'm organizing all of the hair into this nice little crest here. In the back here, you can see I'm letting things fall into little curls, organizing them together. You feel like we're, we're, having, we're almost to this married with children moment here. One of my favorite characters, that mother, Ted Bundy. Oh God, I just stabbed her right in the face. I'm sorry. As we're in this together, okay? And you're gonna look great. All right, see her? She's living, she's breathing. This is a simple wig that you can wear for a performance. She's gonna treat you well. She's just fluffy enough to make you have a petite lady face. Fast forward with me through a moment while I neaten out every single strand till she's perfect. There she is. I love her so much, I wanna protect her from harm. So I'm gonna take my pump it up and gently, softly, lightly, put a few spritzes on there. Beep, bop, beep, 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 boop, boop, bop. And so it doesn't get all wet looking, dry it. Look at her. She's one of the prettiest things I've ever made. Look at that. She's nice. Now, you guys are gonna see a very compressed version of this wig making process. But let me tell you something. In real life, we spent over an hour trying to make this look perfect. And you may think to yourself, I don't have time for that. But let me ask you something. What's more important? Looking beautiful or hanging out with some dude and your friends? I think looking beautiful. Because at the end of the day, Looking beautiful to yourself will actually add something to your life. Not to judge your friends and your boyfriend, but I like kind of know them and they're not gonna do anything for you. Let's focus on the hair. Damn, oh, I'm just, I'm just having fun now. Oh, look at her, she's great. Ladies and gentlemen, if you feel sad that today's class is over, it's okay, because next week, Shul is back in session. See you next week, and all you really need to know about her is that she's a woman! Shablam. Like, stop trying to make fetch happen and start trying to make this happen. <laughs>